For the tech nerds out there, something else I want to point out from recent days was a find online by my guy, Bozy Tatarovich. Bozy is a motorsports content creator. He's deep in on the tech stuff, and he's also a mechanic and pit crew member for the Lexus sports car team in IMSA. He's a great follow on social media if you are into such things. He does deep dives on all sorts of stuff, whether it's NASCAR or IndyCar. He talked about the stuff I'm about to talk about here. Uh, he found an entire article about CFD for dirt late models. If you don't know, CFD is computational fluid dynamics, and it's something where engineers and aerodynamicists can use the simulation of fluid movement over surfaces to understand things like aerodynamics. Air moves very similarly uh, to kind of fluids, uh, you know, in, in this space. CFD is such a big deal at some of the top levels of world motorsport that in some series, CFD time is actually limited. Uh, the article, fairly extensive, but it shows uh, it shows some interesting and kind of fairly intuitive plots and kind of what air is doing as it moves across the surface uh, of some of these late model bodies. You can see the top, the bottom, both sides, and front and rear visualizations. The article, it's several years old, but still a lot of very relevant information. And the CAD drawing of the car uh, that was done in the simulations uh, was done by Matt Furman, who is still a dirt late model regular around Iowa. He was most recently in action with the Flow Series at Marshalltown. And as a fun connection, we've actually talked about Matt Furman's work before here on the show. We just didn't realize it at the time. About a month ago, we talked about those little flange pieces that were spotted on Ricky Thornton Jr.'s car. They look to be sealing the body panels off from where the roll bars kind of go through there. Uh, these were actually designed and built by Furman. He calls them deck grommets, and he hopes to be selling them soon through Lucky Dog Manufacturing. Seeing this CFD work, though, it's not surprising to see parts and pieces like this designed by the same guy. He's obviously got some ideas and knows how to, uh, you know, make the visualizations and get the information. As you peruse the piece, you'll see how important the right side of the car is and why there's so much skew. And like I said, he also gives several kind of top-down views, including one where you can really visualize the movement of the air with the car and yaw. I'm certainly no aerodynamics expert, so I'm not going to sit here and try to explain any of this like I am, but I would recommend giving the piece a read. There's a lot of really good um, kind of explanations in there. They talk through, you know, what the different colors mean and all of the different ones, but I will link to that article below in the video description.